Barracks Audio over IP. Loading firmware into a Barracks audio device. Barracks manufactures a range of devices that support both audio and control over IP networks, and the company is committed to ongoing product development. Barracks recognizes that not every audio situation is the same and has therefore developed a range of specialized firmwares to deliver optimal performance in a variety of situations. A customer that needs the latest features simply upgrades the firmware in their devices. Live streaming applications, like retail radio, need the streaming client firmware. Mass notification systems need a public address paging solution, and so on. One size does not fit all. But how does a user load a custom firmware? It's simple. Whether installing new firmware or updating to a newer version of the same firmware, the install process is identical, regardless of the device or the firmware type. For this example, an Xtreamer 110 device will be updated with the FTP MP3 Store and Play firmware. The basic steps are as follows. Download firmware from the Barracks website using a browser on a PC. Connect a Barracks device to the local network and load the firmware from the PC to the device. Let's walk through these steps in greater detail. The first step is to retrieve the firmware. Firmware is available for download on the Barracks website. Click the download button on the home page, then scroll to find the desired firmware either a standard product firmware or one of the special applications. For this example, we're choosing the MP3 player, one of the special applications. Choose the most recent FTP MP3 firmware update kit. This firmware is download restricted. Contact support at barracks.com to obtain a user ID for this download. Log in when prompted and then choose the file again. It's a zip file. Choose Save File and click OK. The zip file will download. Next, extract the files from the zip file and note where the extracted files are saved on the computer. The file we'll be using later is located in the Update Rescue folder and is called compound.bin. Attach the device to the local area network, attach headphones, and then power it up. The IP address will be announced. Make a note of the IP address. Next, go to a PC on the network and enter the device's IP address into the browser's address bar. The user interface, or UI, appears. This device currently has the streaming client firmware installed. Click the Update link at the top of the page. The Update screen will appear. Click on the link that says Please click here to start the update. The device will begin to reboot, then the bootloader page will appear. Click the Browse button and navigate to the folder where the extracted files are stored. Enter the folder called Update Rescue and choose the file called Compound.bin. Click the Upload button to load the file into the Xtreamer device. This may take a few minutes. When the upload is complete, a message will appear on the screen stating so. Click the Update link to return to the bootloader page, and then click the Reboot button. The device will reboot. If needed, click the link to reload the main page. After any change of firmware type on a device, it is recommended to restore the factory defaults for the new firmware, because applications use device memory differently. Confirm the action, the device will again reboot. The device is now fully operational. Each type of barracks firmware is designed to run on specific devices. However, the methods described in this video can be used to load firmware onto any barracks audio device. Welcome to a new acoustic dimension with barracks. <laughs>